The government of Oyo and Kwara State have agreed to set up a joint committee to address the security challenges in both states. Governor Abdul Razak Abdurrahman led the delegation of the Kwara State team to meet with the team of Oyo State, led by Governor Shei Makinde. Makinde disclosed this while briefing journalists at the end of a closed-door security meeting held in the executive chamber of the governor's office in Agodi, Ibadan. Well, we acknowledge the efforts of our security uh, agencies and thank them for the work they uh, are doing uh, for our country. Uh, we do appreciate them and we encourage them to please uh, uh, do uh, more. We also acknowledge the fact that non-state actors you know, are getting uh, upper hand in uh, communicating and spreading hatred uh, within our country. Uh, so we ask that leaders must speak with one voice, especially at the Nigerian uh, Governors uh, uh, Forum. We have to be firm and we have to be decisive in dealing with the security challenges that uh, uh, we're currently faced with. We have uh, also taken uh, notice of the fact that uh, uh, our intelligence uh, gathering efforts has to be deepened. Some of the uh, situation that we've been faced with recently, where we've had to react uh, instead of uh, being able to uh, uh, act before those things are actually uh, erupt uh, due to uh, some intelligence uh, failure. And traditional rulers on both sides of the uh, border fans within Oyo and Kwara states will be encouraged to come together in fostering uh, unity and exchange of information. And that way, uh, our intelligence agencies will be able to proactively deal with the situation rather than being reactive. We agree that a more detailed uh, working team is to be set up between uh, Oya and Kwara states. Uh, we know that the issues to be addressed you know, have wider um, national ramifications. Yes, they uh, they ask uh, somebody to leave uh, Igaga, and that has created uh, issues in uh, Kwara State where internally displaced uh, uh, persons now are spread over uh, about uh, 13, 13 uh, uh, villages and, uh, and seven local government uh, areas in uh, Kwara State with its uh, attendant uh, challenges of maintenance of uh, those uh, uh, individuals, but we believe that uh, the um, a working group to be, uh, so the working team to be set up, uh, should be able to uh, dispassionately look at those uh, challenges and then uh, come up with uh, solutions. Which uh, myself and uh, my brother, uh, the governor of Kwara State, will be able to uh, look at and uh, solve. He gave assurance that Oyo State would take advantage of the National Livestock Transformation Plan, which, according to him, is already being implemented in Kwara State. Also, the National Livestock Transformation uh, uh, Plan is currently not uh, implemented uh, in uh, Oyo State, but Kwara State have uh, started its implementation over a year ago, so we believe that uh, there are um, lateral learnings from uh, uh, Kuala State that Oyo State uh, may be able to um, take advantage of. Um, and this should lead to uh, further collaboration um, at the uh, economic and security levels. Uh, I believe in the uh, uh, days ahead, probably within the next uh, uh, couple of days, we should be able to uh, disclose uh, uh, to the public uh, members of this uh, working uh, team uh, 
Abitsumi or you are in Kuala State and uh, in the uh, weeks ahead we will also uh, be taking uh, recommendations from them for uh, implementation. The meeting had in attendance service commanders from both states, including the General Officer Commanding Division 2 of the Nigerian Army and the Commissioners of Police, Oyo and Kwara State Commands. Also in attendance at the meeting were traditional rulers and some members of the cabinet of both states.